Okay, just imagine that. It's been a long day. At school, at work, at home, doesn't matter. What does is you're finally getting back into your comfort zone, settling down. Welcome to my nighttime routine. I personally love my morning routines, but I do find that they change all the time. Whereas my nighttime routine hasn't really changed all that much over the course of the last few years, really. A morning presents your success. It's like a show off, but a nighttime routine preps your success. Without the right preparation, a 5 a.m. morning routine cannot happen. So this is how I like to end my days, being productive because yes, I am a full-time dental student, but also relaxing and setting the tone for the next day ahead. The first thing that I'm doing after coming home is changing into comfortable clothes. That could be sweatpants or yoga pants. It doesn't really matter. I just want to be comfortable and out of my daytime clothes. Also, I really don't like to wear my outside clothes that have been to dental school with me all throughout my entire home. Maybe it's because I'm working in a medical field, but I do find that to be a little bit gross. My mom used to do the same thing ever since I was a little child and I really took on to that habit. Once I feel comfortable and somewhat settled at home, I like to clean up anything that I did not manage to tidy up in the morning. The last few minutes leading up to me leaving for school are usually hectic, so there's usually always something left for me to do and I like to get that out of the way. It also really helps me getting into the I am home now headspace. And then it's time for what I think to be my favorite time of the evening, which is a long walk with Bailey. Now, if she wouldn't be here, I would probably still be taking a walk now that it's about to be summer. I am stuck inside all day long and we do have windows inside of our sheds at school, but actually feeling the sunlight touch your skin is completely different and I wouldn't want to miss it. I've also heard that it's very helpful for your circadian rhythm to be confronted with natural daylight all day around because your body will comprehend the intensity of sunlight, etc. And it will help with naturally falling asleep earlier. But besides that, it's also a great time just being out doors and being neither a student nor content creator for 30 minutes so I really do enjoy and cherish this time. Once I get back home, it's time to make dinner. I try to have a nice and comforting meal, but after a long day, I have neither the energy nor the time for excessive and complicated recipes. It has to be easy, quick, and somewhat healthy. I personally really struggle with getting my veggies, so whenever I cannot incorporate them within my mains, I try to make a side salad with a fun dressing, and I have to say, I've really been loving that. Cooking is fun, and realizing that healthy meals are not boring or bland is such a fun journey to be on, and preparing them really takes my mind off of things, especially if something happened at school or if I felt extra anxious that day. Anxiety will usually make me want to waste my time on my phone and not do anything, but I have found that redirecting the energy that does come with anxiety into cooking makes me feel more calm and relaxed. After a short little break, allowing myself to rest for a few minutes after eating, I usually head into my office and I get myself to work. A lot of the time I do work-related stuff, editing for YouTube or Instagram, but tonight I actually had an assignment due for dental school for our orthodontic seminar. Every student has to prepare a presentation and we had to hand these in one week prior to our seminar, so that's what I was working on that night. I am a natural night owl. So I naturally focus really well at night, but because of my lifestyle and because of dental school, I kind of have to work around that. I don't think that you can ever become a true morning person through and through if it's just not your natural thing, but I do think that you can train yourself to adapt. However, I do think it's really important that you know the times of the day where you can be really productive and utilize them. So because I know that I do work well at night and I have no trouble staying focused during that time of the day, I'm taking about an hour out of my nighttime routine and direct it into work. This makes me feel like I accomplished even more and I do have to admit that because of my limited time throughout the day, I don't really have a choice but to work at night. However, I do try to keep it as short as possible while it's still getting done as much as I can. Sleep in the end is very important and I try to avoid late night sessions as much as I can, but they do happen. Sometimes I forget about the time because I'm so focused. Sometimes I just really have to get something done or I have to study for an exam and that's fine. But to have a good and productive start into the next day, rest is important and getting in enough sleep is a necessity and non-negotiable. So it's time to fully move into and onto the relaxing part of my nighttime routine.
Listen, I do not take a bath every single night, don't be fooled, but there is a reason why I'm taking one in every single one of my nighttime routine videos. I love baths, and I know that a lot of people don't share my love for them, and that's fine. They do take a lot of time, including prep time, etc., so I really can't take a bath every day, but I try to reserve them for the most tiring days of the week or whenever I have a bit more time the next day because I don't have to get up as early. Whilst my bathtub is filling up, I'm already removing my makeup with double cleansing and then it's time to relax, watch a YouTube video, no TikToks, short form content is not relaxing, listen to music, go check out Giveon if you haven't already because his music is perfection and just, you know, zone out a little. putting on moisturizer after a bath or a shower because A, it's good for my skin and B, I love to use creams that smell absolutely delicious and it's such a nice feeling to later on snuggle into bed smelling like a dream. After changing into my PJs, it is time for skincare. I like my skincare routine quick and simple in the mornings. At night, however, I invest more time and energy into it. I start out with a toner and where in the mornings my focus is on moisturizing and achieving a glow. At night, I try to really cleanse my skin and work against impurities as well as moisturizing. After my toner, I'm using a mild chemical exfoliant because I'm breaking out at the moment. And then I move on to Essence. I really like the snail mucin one from Cozer X. And then I follow everything up with a bunch of different serums and an ampule, finishing off my skincare routine with a moisturizer. The one that I'm using is literally for babies, but it's so good. And to feel fully ready for bed, I have to brush my teeth immediately, take out my contacts, which is my final sign that it's good night time, and I move back into the kitchen to clean up. A clean house means a clean headspace, and there's almost nothing that I hate more than waking up to a messy kitchen because it leaves you feeling so stressed in the morning when you walk into the kitchen try to figure out how to add cleaning to your limited time frame that you have. So even though I am tired at night, I always take my time to clean up the kitchen and leave everything looking at least half decent. Okay, don't judge me jump scare. I did not make my bed that morning and I completely forgot before I started filming. But I really wanted to leave that bit of reality in because uh, that's just real life, no scripts. So usually when my bed would be made, I would take off my day blanket and my throw over and then fluff up my pillow, but obviously that was not necessary today. Great. Save me a little bit of time. Once my bedroom is all set for the night, I set my alarm for the upcoming morning and I usually end my night with an episode of Friends because it is such a feel-good show and the episodes are not too long which makes it perfect for a how I end my night kind of show. And that concludes my nighttime routine. By the way, don't worry, there were plenty of potty breaks for Bailey that I just didn't film, but they did happen. I love nighttime and it's very hard for me not to live into my nights too much so that I can get enough sleep, but creating a calming nighttime routine is very essential for me. Over the years, I've learned of the importance of sleep and that you really shouldn't neglect it. And that's what my nighttime routine mainly centers around these days. I mean, of course I still have things to do and I don't really have the luxury of taking my evenings and nights completely off to myself. I see other people having these routines where they go to bed at 9 p.m. or 10 p.m. And where I wish I could do that for me in my life, that's just not realistic. Really, there isn't a one-size-fits-all perfect nighttime routine, but this one's mine. Perfectly adapted to me. I hope you could find some inspiration and maybe motivation within it. Now go and live your days to the fullest and fill your nights with calmness and love. I'll see you next time. <laughs>